I thought I would make a little quick little video on how I sharpen my pencils. Uh, these are the uh, Kante, Kante uh, Paris. Um, let's pull one out here. Let's see if you can see that. That's um, Kante uh, Paris. I get these off of, uh, oh shoot, what is it? Uh, Jerry's Artorama and uh, Dick Blick, I think it has them also. They, I get them in a pack of 12, because they go through them pretty quick. And um, I got some uh, razor blades here. They're just, um, I keep them in this Altoid box, which is pretty handy. So this is a brand new one. So it's really sharp. And this is, this is how I sharpen them. I use uh, a razor blade, um, dexterity, <laughs> and uh, focus. So <laughs> I think I'll uh, have this zoom in a little bit. Let's see. I'm just gonna uh, sharpen it right over this piece of paper, but I'm gonna bend the paper in half first because I think that will uh, I think that will catch most of the junk that comes off. Let's see where are ya? Okay, I got this camera overhead, so I'm trying to see. I have to get comfortable because you got to be comfortable, and you want to hold it in your um, supportive hand. For me, it's that, that's my left. And I hold the razor blade like this. And I put the razor blade like so, and I'm gonna uh, push it with my thumb, and also use my wrist as well. But my thumb, right here, my left thumb, sort of guides it, I think. To tell you the truth, I haven't really thought about it until just right now, so it's kinda hard to describe. But uh, maybe if you just see it, so I start off, I mean, real, just real small pieces at the top. And as I'm doing that, my hand is rotating the pencil like so. And the sharpening pencils is kind of funny because it actually lets me know where my temperament is. Because if I get, if I'm in a, uh, angry, upset, or outside of myself, kind of, or um, not outside of myself, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just trying to say if I'm having a bad day, it'll show up when I'm sharpening these pencils because I will start breaking them and I'll just have to stop. But so what do you want to do? You want to start off um, just real slow and right out the top. Don't try to take big giant strokes because you'll just bust the pencil. So just a little bit and just go around. Keep, keep spinning it. Let's see. And it's got like this glue in it too so you gotta, it glues the um, the charcoal to the uh, the wood, and you just sort of have to like peel it off with the razor blade, and it gets stuck on there. And let's see, so just keep continuing. Try to get it. Oh, this one's really got like some knots in it. So just real easy. Just take it easy. Just roll it around. Get all the sides. I like to get a really long uh, piece of wood showing and a nice taper. You see, I can try to get like a nice, nice taper. There we go. It's real thin pieces. We're not, we're not in a hurry. We're just trying to make a nice pencil. I usually, I usually don't go this slow. You're probably thinking, oh my god, I have to do this every day. But once you get a pencil going, like here's here's three different sizes. This one I just did. I think it was, yeah, this one was brand new. And then this is an older one. So, I mean, you just, you know, once you get them started, they're easy to maintain. And uh, most of the time while you're drawing, they sort of uh, stay sharp anyway because you're shading a lot on the side of the pencil. And that, that just keeps it nice and sharp. So what I'm after right now is to get a 
optimal length of uh, exposed pencil here. And I think that's about it. Any further, it'll probably break. The likelihood of, of it breaking will increase. I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. It's just a video, it's not even on me. It's like on my fingers. I'm so nervous. <sighs> Take a deep breath, okay. Cause this part's fun. So, so now I got that. So now um, I went from this position to get the wood off, right? So now I'm gonna flip it over and use it like this. And I'm gonna use this kind of motion at the same time, I'm going to be spinning this and uh, rotating the pencil with my left hand. Let's see if you can see. Let me move this junk out of the way. Okay. So just, you just chip at it. Like so. Let me try to zoom in a little bit for you. Good. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to make some marks for me. So that's the top of the screen there. Okay. Okay. So you just rotate it. See how I'm rotating it with my left hand and my thumb. And going back the other way. Just keep calm and relaxed. Think about the great drawings you're going to do today. Relaxing music helps. I have no idea what's playing right now. This is so odd. I think it's covers or something. I recognize it, but then I don't. It's kind of strange. Anyway. So see that? Almost there. What I'm looking for is a nice... Uh, I want this real sharp, real straight, and a nice... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Just uh, level between the, uh, the wood and the uh, pencil itself. There's uh, something primal about this, I think. Kind of relates to our ancestors who would uh, map uh, uh, projectile points from flint and obsidian. It's gotta be something related to this because I freaking enjoy it. So it's getting there, almost, almost. I mean, I could stop right now, really. But I'm just gonna clean it up. Yeah, this guy is going to last for a while. I got like a ton of little ones too. I need to use. I saved those for the uh, figure quick sketch class. Seems to work better to have like little tiny pencils. Okay, so I'm gonna call that one done. Let me zoom out. I just wanted to make a pretty quick video. You see all the junk that came off of that pencil. But that's it. It's nice and sharp. Yeah. Done with this. Enjoy, have fun. So the reason, I just real quick, the reason why I do it like this sharp and this wide right here, so I can pull, uh, Nice big fat shading. Look at that. Ah, uh, it's perfect. I can just blast in all this tone where I needed to. And at the same time, I can do like these little sharp lines. So that's why I do it. That's what I was taught. I taught this at Watts Atelier. 
Not a commercial, but hey, it's a great school. Check them out. They're online. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.